Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Thursday's card. March 23rd, 2023, day one of the Sweet 16 is upon us. I've got a free play coming up on this report from college basketball. We'll get to the big dance free play in just a minute. Swept again last night, back-to-back -back nights of sweeps, NBA, college basketball last night, NHL the night before. Uh, last night we had a big six-star play on the Lakers in this uh, NBA and, well, all sports run with top plays now stands at 56 and 24 that's 70 percent up over 16,000 bucks during the run which started back in mid-December I do have a five-star high-end play in the NBA on Thursday I know it's big dance time uh, but the cash spins the same right so NBA five-star high-end play will look to go to 56 and 27 with my five-star NBA play since last season and we'll also look to uh, extend the overall big play run in all sports to 57 and 24 I've also got college basketball, of course, big dance action on Thursday's card, and then a big, big play in college basketball that's going to be available on my homepage on Friday morning. We'll tell you more about that on Friday's video. I've also got NHL. So we've got NHL. We've got big dance action on Thursday. I've got a high-end play in the NBA as we look to extend the high-end run to 57 and 24, and we'll look to sweep for the third straight day. All on my homepage at DocSports.com. Let's get to the free play for today. It's the matchup between Florida Atlantic and Tennessee. Game starts at about 9 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. And the big question for FAU is can Janelle Davis uh, continue his incredible performance for the Owls? He finished with a combined 46 in points, rebounds, and assists combined against Memphis. His average, though, in his last nine or his previous nine games before Memphis was only 22 and a half. I don't know that he's going to be able to get the job done against the Volunteers. FAU is a decent team as we know. They're right around 30th in offensive and defensive adjusted efficiency. They did beat the Florida Gators in Gainesville earlier this season. Uh, so there isn't a, an SEC intimidation factor for FAU, but the Vols are just a different story in a different league when it comes to the play on the defensive end of the court. They're number one in adjusted efficiency on defense. They're number one against the three-pointer. They're number 11 against the two-pointer, and I believe that's the difference in this one is just that incredible defensive play that you see out of the Tennessee Volunteers throughout the course of this season. I like Tennessee uh, to get the cover here, so our free play uh, in Big Dance action on Thursday, the Tennessee Volunteers minus the points over Florida Atlantic. Don't forget, we've got NHL, Big Dance College Basketball Premium Action, the high-end play in the NBA, all available on Thursday. We're going to look to sweep our third straight card and extend that high-end run to 57 and 24. All the plays on my homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put them in the wind column, everybody.